Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Writes. Today it's another unboxing. It's not my usual Lumicrate unboxing because I have done my one for the month, but recently on their website they've relisted like some old boxes and I'm greedy. I technically bought these because as I'm drafting a new book right now I decided that every 10k words I want to buy myself a little gift that is equal in value to the numbers. So at 10,000 words I get a £10 gift, at 20,000 words I get a £20 gift. So as I'm technically at 25,000 words right now, these each are about £25. Ignore the fact there's two. The other one will just be my completion gift, I think. Or I'll save it for a while and hoard it. Who knows yet? Who knows? So today we're going to be unboxing one of these. I think I'm going to go for the brighter yellow one at the bottom, because I think the darker yellow, based off the, again, the Illumicrate box that I'm using as a tripod right now, I think the darker yellow is a new one. So the ones that I got are the ones that have After the Forest in, which I think also has the Cruel Prince, like, replica sword in. And I'm rereading Cruel Prince right now for the first time since four or five years ago when I read it, in preparation to read. It's it's up there somewhere, the stolen hair, and because the rest of the series is coming out. So I thought, you know, I want the Cool Prince item and I want the Foresty book. And then the other one, I believe the bottom one, which I think is the 2022 box, has Portrait of a Thief in. Which again, I was very excited about at the time. I never got around to reading it, but I followed the author on Twitter and I'm kind of obsessed with her. So let's begin. So yeah, I'm going for the bright yellow one as I think it's older, but this is just... I can't confirm this. I was right. So let's have a little look-see. I'm going to keep this one open because it's got the list of things inside. And I was definitely scrolling through like, the list of items that are included as I was choosing my boxes because I didn't want to get one of the stuff I didn't want. And this one has some things I want. So let's start with this item on the top. And based off the list of items, I think this is the art history book part. We're going to actually open it and find out. Because I have not seen like any spoilers. Well, I say I haven't seen any spoilers. I've seen the full list of items included. I just forgot. <gasps> oh, when they say book pot, they mean like an actual pot that's shaped like a book. I love this. It says a picture of art history. It is very yellow. It is... I don't know what I'm going to store in here. Probably bookmarks. But this is so cute. I think this is a series that they were running... It might have been for a year, the same way how Owl Crow does like pin series for a year and things like that. I don't know how many of them are total, but this one is just inspired by art history. Can you guess which famous painting inspired the design? No. No, I can't. I'm a terrible art student. Look, oh, that's... <laughs> I got a ring light, by the way. I think it's very cool. Look. I love this a lot, and when I saw it was a book pot, or any kind of pots, like I very much love this little Owl Crate TBR pot as well. I think that's fun. So I saw it was a little pot, and I thought, you know, I need someone to store my trinkets. And I said to my beloved Emma, like, what, what, what is book pot? And she said, book shaped pot. And I was sold. Next, we have a song to the spirits. I've not heard of this one. This is a paper craft kit designed by Rosie Thorns eighty eight, exclusively for a Luma crate. And based off the back, there's like an alignment guide of how to do it. I'm not overly fond of paper crafts because my fingers don't work. I have terrible fine motor skills. But this is inspired by one of our favourite scenes from City of Brass, which is a book that I own. I have not read it. I was gifted it by a friend many years ago and I've just not got around to it because I think I prioritise books that I choose myself, which is horrible and selfish and so mean. This is cute. I love the art style on this and maybe I will attempt it. Oh, you don't have to cut, you don't have to cut the bits out. It's like, it pops out. That, I'm sold. Next up, we have a collection of bookmarks. And I actually got bookmarks um, in my last, I think it was my last Alima Crate box. Was it an Al Crate box? It was an Alima Crate box. They had the Crescent City bookmarks in. And the thing is, like, as much as I love the art and the bookmarks, I do not care about these characters or this book enough to have five bookmarks. So we'll see how many of these are. So this is the Gilded Wolves bookmark set, artwork by Gabriella Budoso. Featuring all the main characters from the series, these bookmarks are as beautiful as they are useful. Let's judge. Okay, they are beautiful. But again, I have not read this book. I think it is on my TBR because every book by default is on my TBR. So I will read it one day, maybe I'll appreciate these. But for now, they're going in my graveyard with my Crescent City bookmarks and also my Shadowhunter bookmarks. Please ignore the fact that I enjoyed Shadowhunters at one point in my life. 
Now this I'm also excited for because I read it when I was reading the description to buy this box. And this is the, um, the I keep forgetting what the book's actually called, The Invisible Life of Aizuru. And this is, and it says, store all your favourite memories and artwork in this print album. So a photo album. And I'm a very big photo album girly. And I read Aizuru. I loved many, many elements of it. It's, I was going to say it's probably my top favourite um, B.E. Schwab books, but I adore all of her books endlessly. I did not give it five stars as I was expecting. I think it was a four star book, but I did love it. Okay, so this is beautiful and there. She's beautiful and shiny. There's a little quote on the front that says, stories are a way to preserve oneself, to be remembered and to forget. And it's got a little like forget me not, flowers everywhere. Very, very shiny, very shiny on the back. And I imagine it is just, it is just a photo album on the side, but it's one where, how do I use get into this? Okay, it's one where like the entire you can the entire page. It's not just like limited to the size of the photos. You can fit all kinds of things in there. And I'm looking at it as if there's going to be another secret in here. But it's cute and I love it. And now finally the book. This is does Illuminate still wrap things in little like book bags like this? I don't remember it from my past few books. I remember opening the box and just seeing the book straight away. But seeing the book straight away, that messed up. There we are. So we have Portrait of a Thief, and is it going to tell me like what customizations have been made? So it does. Enjoy your Illuminate edition with all exclusive cover, foil embossing on the hardback, reverse dust jacket artwork and sprayed edges. This edition is also signed by the author. My dog's yelling, be right back. My dog has stopped barking, it appears we have a new postman. So I'm not sure about what the change is about the cover from the original version, because this is just what I remember it being. I like that it is so colour blocky and just like solid colours all round, because as an art girl, I feel like by default you have to be a primary colour enjoyer. So yeah, I'm not too sure what's different about, like, I don't know that the, you can kind of see some very, like, faint, subtle tigers, I believe, in the background. Ooh. Will could hear the sirens, they sound like a promise. So we'll open her up. I always just expect there's going to be some kind of end paper art, and, like, I literally read it, I don't know. But, ooh! The tigers are here. That one there, and then nothing on the back. I love how shiny this is. This is beautiful. And then on the reversible dust jacket we have art of the characters. And I wish I had so much more to say about this. Because this is a book that I am quite excited by. But I think just because of the fact that it is... Is it like two years old by now? This was... This was the... Like, April? Hold on. It says April's theme is, and then immediately below it says May's theme is. So is this the March... No, there's his April on the front. This is the April 2022 box, except Illuminate can't decide on what month it is. So yes, this book, this box is coming out to be like two years old. So again, I don't have a huge amount to say about it, but I'm very excited about all the items. And like, it's pretty cover art. I don't think it matches the vibe of the original cover at all. And I really like when the art is cohesive, but I like the original cover a lot. And again, I usually have beef with boxes that don't change the cover art. I'm realising that now that must be something Illuminate does. Because for the books I have so far, they just change like, the colours of the art. And I know for the Drowned Woods box, they also just change the cover art. But this is beautiful. This I'm a fan of. But it's a thing like this and this feel like different books to me. So yeah, I think in summary for this box, I'm glad to have a book that I want to read. Because... I is always nice to have books I want in special edition as well because they're pretty and fancy. I'm very excited by this and these go together. I like when things go together. I love when there's cohesion within the box. So those go together. This photo album can kind of fit in thematically and again I love when things match and go together. But I think... Mm, if I pull these up again these don't go as quite well as these things fill out their own box. I'm wondering now, has any of the book boxes ever done a box that isn't just exclusively for the specific book, like this, like the, what was it? 
the Raven Boy Special Edition box or the Six of Crows or the Shadow and Bone Special Edition boxes. Do they ever do boxes where the items are fully cohesive? Just wondering. But this item is going to be in my pride of joy forever and ever. I'm going to put it in the background and you're going to see it in every video leading up to this one because I'm not planning on posting this one for a month or so. I hope you enjoy it. So thank you so much for watching this video with me and therefore celebrating me hitting potentially 50% of the way through this draft. I'm looking forward to reading this book and also unboxing my other box at some point. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye!